Let me backtrack a little. Hi, I'm Valentina and this vacation did not go as planned. Let me tell you why. It was supposed to be a cute short mother-daughter getaway in a five-star resort in Tunisia. But upon arrival, we never even made it to the resort and we both ended up in the hospital instead. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but just know that we had something completely different in mind. I know I'm stupid because I didn't film it, but our flight to Tunisia was horrible. We flew with Air Tunisia, and here are some pictures that my mom took of the food and the trays that they brought the food on. And as well, you can see like some of the seats in the background is just disgusting. I've never been so traumatized after a flight. And also the staff was just so rude and in general, it was just a very bad experience. And as I said, we didn't think that we would spend our entire trip in a hospital, but we did. The worst part about all of this was that there was no saying how long we would have to be in the hospital. And every day I was thinking like, okay, you know, they're gonna let us go now, which just didn't happen. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> And the staff in the hospital barely spoke any English which made it so much harder to communicate considering the fact that je ne parlais pas français, okay? Like, ugh. Anyways, I spent the first two days locked up in a hospital room, sitting on the bed, barely eating because I couldn't. They didn't even give us water or anything, so like I barely drank for two days, which actually led me to lose so much weight in a very unhealthy way, Plus, I was so dehydrated. And then finally on the third day, they actually allowed us to get out of the hospital because my mom was feeling a lot better too. So we did what we do best. We went shopping. I don't have any footage of the mall where we went to, but I did take some pictures of the clothes that I bought, so... This was also the first time in three days that I actually had a proper meal. And since I really needed some calories into my system, we ate a burger. So by the fourth day, my mom's health was improving even more. And of course she felt guilty that I was locked up in the hospital room for so long. So she suggested to go sightseeing. Now, before we left to Tunisia, I had already done some research of like, what there is to see. And I actually wanted to go to the desert, but turned out it wasn't that accessible but i did see this place that kind of reminded me of santorini in greece and i've never been to greece i've always wanted to go though so i saw an opportunity and i took it And yes, that day I wore the exact same shirt as I'm wearing right now. No, I don't feel bad about it. Yes, I did wash it though. After visiting Sidi Bou Said, we went to this historical village that was right around the corner and it's called Kartash. So after touristing around for a whole day, we were so tired because we were suffering from sleep deprivation, but we were also really hungry. So we went back to the mall for two reasons. One, to get food, and two, to shop a little more because there were still like some gifts that we wanted to get. And we actually found out that the mall consisted of like two buildings of which we only saw one building the first day. So we wanted to check that out. But by the time we arrived, which was around 5 or 6 p.m., most of the stores were actually closing, but turned out that the stores were reopening from 9 until 1 a.m., so 9 p.m. till 1 a.m. I'm guessing this had to do with the fact that it was so Ramadan, or maybe not, I don't know. And it made us kind of sad because we really wanted to explore some of the shops, but we didn't want to wait for three hours, so we just decided to go back to the hospital. <laughs> and once we arrived there we actually just completely knocked out until the next day i think this was also the first night that i actually slept pretty decent i'm guessing because of how tired my body was the next day was our departuring day 
Now, we still had some unfinished business in that mall, so we went there first, you know, we got the gifts, we got the clothes, and then we came back to the hospital. Yes, I said that twice now. And when we got back, we just had to put the new clothes that we bought in the suitcase and we were ready to leave to the airport. When we got to the airport, I was happy but scared at the same time. It was a very beautiful airport, by the way. But even though we were flying with Tui, I was still kind of scared in what condition the plane was going to be. But at the same time, I just... I just wanted to be home so quick, you know? So I was really happy to be able to go home, but that happiness was short-lived because 30 minutes before boarding, they announced that our plane was delayed for almost two hours. Our flight is delayed. Yeah, I know, a fucking drag. Knowing that our flight was delayed put me in ultimate panic mode because my best friend Mylan was going to pick us up so I had to contact her but I wasn't sure if she was already on her way or not because we were arriving at Charleroi airport which is literally one of the most shittiest airports in whole of Belgium maybe even in the whole world and then finally you get on the flight and then you fly home and then you touch down in Belgium at 1 a.m. at night and you can't be more happy with your life but then wait you have to go through security and then you have to take your bag and then you have to walk like a whole marathon through the airport to like finally get to the exit but then it happened we found Mylan and I was so happy to see her <laughs> But the car ride though was one of the longest drives I've ever been through in my life. I could barely keep my eyes open and I felt so guilty. Because for real, to everyone else, I want y'all to understand that no one was obligated to do this. No one was obligated to come pick us up and put us all the way back home just to drive back to their own home. We arrived at 1am. We arrived where I live by like... 30 and then Mylan had to like sit through another 20 30 minute drive all the way back to her house so Mylan you're the real MVP but anyways despite everything I'm happy that my mom and I are okay and that we made it back safe into Belgium the few things that we did in Tunisia were a lot of fun and I'm really happy and grateful that I got to see those things and experience all of that because I did enjoy it a lot also just in life, I'm doing this thing where I'm trying to see the positive thing in a negative situation and that's exactly what I did with the strip. I mean, is it a sad thing? Yeah, definitely. But it's just making me look forward to my next strip, which I know the flight is gonna be amazing, the hotel is gonna be amazing. Honestly, I'm so excited. I don't wanna spoil anything yet, but it's gonna be truly amazing and I can't wait. And you guys will definitely be here to experience it with me. Like this is literally my dream holiday and I'm just so, so excited. So excited. But yeah, this was it for this video. If you enjoyed my way of telling this story, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay updated with every time I post a video. Because I have so much more cool content coming up and I'm busy doing all kinds of stuff and I'm actually enjoying this right now so stay tuned oh and if you want to you can always like this video anyways bye